Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video in this one I'm going to be showing you a quick way of getting some decent XP um, early on in the game this will just help you out with your skill tree and unlock all the abilities you'll be needing or you'll want to need uh, when you're doing the campaign or just any other bosses and stuff like that so yeah without wasting any more time let's get into it so just before we get into the video properly I just want to talk to you about a few things uh, the first thing is perks now there is a couple of perks that I recommend uh, for this XP method so if we just go into the perks real quick and the first one is called Wisdom so gain more experience from defeating enemies so self-explanatory every time you kill an enemy you gain more experience now the other one is called Gambler increases the experience gained but you may no longer restore you after death so this just means um, any experience you get and if you die then you lose it but you don't need to worry about this because we won't be dying uh, when we do this method Okay, so to get the first perk, the Wisdom perk, you want to go and uh, make your way to Pyloon Saloon, just here. Then what you want to do is just make your way upstairs and you want to talk to someone called Z. Now at some point during the uh, campaign, quite early on, you'll unlock her shop. And um, this basically just um, holds the Wisdom perk uh, that you'll be needing uh, for this method. So you just need some data disks which you find around the, um, the map, around the game and you just need five and then you've got yourself your first perk. The gambler perk can be acquired after you've gone to Jeddah for the second time and then once you've done this you want to make your way past this meditation point and continue until you speak to the sister. Now after helping her out I think a couple of times she will give you a rumour to defeat the Susabane Alpha and basically you just want to head to the location and defeat the Alpha and then just behind the Alpha will be a thing to pick up and that will be your Gambler perk. Now just quickly to show you where the Gambler perk is you just want to head to the meditation point uh, Crypt of Irma so it's located at this point just here uh, just for reference um, at some point during the campaign you will end up here anyway but your ship is here and you just want to make your way at some point to this spot just here. When you first make your way to this meditation point the uh, shortcut won't be available so you'll have to go the long way so what you want to do is make your way through the archway up the stairs double jump to this spot just here keep going and you'll end up at the crypt and then once you're inside there will be a door and um, it's a very simple puzzle and then once you've opened that up you just want to make your way through here and you'll end up on the other side and then you'll be able to unlock the shortcut. So once you have the shortcut unlocked you just want to make your way down and then make your way to the right hand side and there will be a green barrier. At some point Merrin will give you the ability to go through these so once you have that ability you want to make your way through go through the waterfall and there will be a gap in the wall and then just after this there will be a boss fight after you've defeated the boss in this area there will be a perk on the floor uh, just in the corner and then once you pick it up you will have both of your perks ready for the XP method we're about to do. Okay so once we have both of these perks it's time to do the XP method. So what you want to do is go to a meditation point. Um, if you have unlocked the fast travel it's called Fort Callan. Um, just here but if you haven't just for reference it's just to the left of the mantis not much further and you just want to head here and we will start the method now before we can even start this method before we even have perks you want to go onto the force tree and then you want to go under the telekinesis part and you're going to want to unlock an ability called unrelenting pull this basically just um, pulls larger enemies towards you uh, this is what we're going to be needing for this uh, method so without this uh, you won't be able to do it uh, it's very easy to get you just want to unlock the wrenching pull and then after that the twin pull then after that the unrelenting pull so you get the skill points necessary to unlock these three and then we will be able to start the method so once you have the abilities you want to equip your perks so your wisdom and your gambler and another really useful thing to get a little bit more xp is to equip your blaster um, i will show you this in just a moment but basically if you hit an enemy before it dies with a blaster shot you will get some more xp you just need to time it well it doesn't always happen but if it does it's just some more xp for you so the first thing you want to do is just rest at your meditation point, this just resets everything and what we're going to be doing is pulling a couple of enemies off this bridge. Now to get the enemies to run across the bridge you're going to want to lure them out. Uh, the way to do this is just head up these stairs and you just want to head on top of this bucket sort of thing and then you want to jump up here 
And now to lure them out, you want to get high enough, uh, just like that, so they start running across. Then what you want to do is make your way under the bridge, and then you just want to double jump and then push lure them out. And what this will do is per push them off the bridge, and then they will fall to their death, and you'll get some easy XP. As easy as that. So once they're both dead, you just want to make your way back to the meditation point and you just want to rest. And what this will do is basically just reset the enemies you've just killed and anything like that. And then you can just rinse and repeat this and do it again. So once you've rested, you just want to go back up these stairs. Now the hardest part of this whole thing is getting onto this barrel. Uh, but once you've done that, then everything else is pretty easy. So you want to get up here. You want to double jump high enough so they are lured onto the bridge. And then you just want to run under the bridge. Uh, it's important you double jump and then you use the uh, pull grab, otherwise you won't be able to reach them. And then do one at a time, the second one will be like, hey, what's going on? And then you want to do the same with the second one until they are both dead. And then you just want to go back to your meditation point and do it again. So for this kill, I'm going to be using the blaster. So compared to the other two where I just uh, pulled them off with my force, um, if you manage to hit them with a bullet, just before they hit the ground, you'll get some more XP. Now, I'm not too sure why, but if you do manage to get more XP for doing the same thing, you might as well. So you want to do the same method as you did before. You want to run underneath the bridge. You want to double jump and then pull them off. And then just before they hit the ground, you want to try shoot him. So the first time I did manage to kill him with a bullet, so the XP was normal. But the second time I did manage to hit him. And as you can see, the two differences in XP uh, was quite a bit. So if you do this every time and you do manage to kill them both with a bullet just before they hit the ground, you'll get far more XP and you'll get a lot more skill points for your skill tree. Now I'm just going to show you quickly what it looks like if I manage to hit them both with a bullet. Um, so if you do, uh, this is what it's going to look like. So the first one's going to fall off the bridge and I hit them and the second one's going to fall off and I hit them as well. And as you can see the meter fills up at least halfway towards a skill point. So if you manage to do this twice, you'll easily get yourself one skill point, which doesn't seem a lot, but for like a minute's work, so maybe two minutes, you'll get a skill point. And if you grind this out for, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, you'll be able to fill up a skill tree fairly quickly or whatever skills you need to progress with whatever you're doing. So yeah, that is everything for this method. Um, the setup takes a little bit longer because you have to get the perks and stuff. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting the gambler perk if you're just starting out because you have to complete a fair portion of the campaign. Then you need to unlock the rumor and then kill the boss and then get the perk, stuff like that. But the wisdom perk is fairly easy to get. You just need five data disks, which are just scattered around the world. They're fairly easy to find. And you just need to unlock the shop, which you do like at the start of the campaign when you find Z and you go into the saloon and you can just open up the shop. Um, but to be honest, you don't need any perks for this. And uh, the XP is still pretty decent if you manage to hit him, even without a blaster shot. And uh, you'll be able to get a fair amount of skill points for your skill tree to do whatever you want with. But yeah. Thank you for watching, I will leave any tips and stuff in the description, anything I've missed out. If you have any questions, just give me a message and I'll try my best to answer them. But yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.